I'm Jake Zivin, broadcaster for the Portland Timbers, and I'm joined by the newest Portland Timber, homegrown signing, Tega Ikoba. Tega, first of all, congratulations on signing your contract for the Timbers. What does it feel like to be a first-team Portland Timber? Um, it really feels awesome, to be honest. I'm just so glad to finally be able to be a part of the family and officially have that title. And um, I'm just glad everybody's been making me feel welcome and happy that I'm a part of the club. You are 18 years old. You won't turn 19 until August. Uh, And now you're a professional athlete. What does it look like at 18 years old, all the responsibility of being a professional athlete? What is that life like? Um, it's, it's definitely exciting. I, I, it's really interesting. I just need to make sure that I'm just maturing as a player and as a person and just staying on a hardworking path. And I think I'll be good. Why now? Like what, what makes you feel like you are ready to take this step in your career and in your life at, at this point? Um, well, I've talked with like family and close friends about this and I think I'm, I'm ready to take this step. I think I've reached the point of maturity where I'll be able to do this and everybody's been very supportive along the way. So what was the, the one semester at, at UNC? Uh, how did that help you grow, whether it be on the field, whether it be off the field? How are you different now than you were when you left Portland, what, six months ago, you know, for, for that semester in North Carolina? Um, I think I've grown. I've just been, I've gained a little more experience. Um, I was able to play quite a bit of games in, at UNC and score a couple goals. And I just gained some confidence, some comfortability on the field. So I think that's how I've grown. Speaking of being comfortable, you're coming into a group that you are pretty comfortable with, right? You were with the team the past two preseasons and you really, you trained with the first team for like the first half of 2021. So you know everybody really well. How does that help what you're about to go into now as a first team player? Oh, it's, it's, it's definitely like really stress relieving, you know, and I'm, I'm glad being able to go into a place where, where I know the players already. It's not like I'm in a completely new environment and they're all really great guys and and they've showed their support for me even before I even went to UNC. So I'm very excited about it. The last time we saw you in a, in a video on Timbers.com, it was the preseason. It was Lloris Maviala unfiltered going around trying to figure out who the fastest player on the team was. You backed yourself. Did you ever have that race? Did you ever do the hundred meter dash with the whole team? Um, unfortunately not. Uh, I was excited for it myself, but we didn't get around to doing so. But there will be plenty. There'll be plenty of time to do it now. Do you still back yourself? Do you? Are you still the fastest guy on the team? Hey, I I still think so. But I mean, maybe we'll see sooner or later. But but I believe I believe I am. One thing that I liked from that video is that Di- everybody kind of said, "Well, what about Dyron?" And Dyron, mm-hmm. when Larice asked him, said, "Right now, I could beat Tega, but in a year." Maybe not. Well, it's been a year. So now we're going to see you versus Dyron, maybe who's, who's fast, uh, who's faster. And, and that kind of leads me into the next line of questioning, which is yourself as a player. How would you describe yourself as a player for the Timber supporters that have maybe heard your name, maybe saw you in a preseason game here and there for a little bit, maybe a little bit in a T2 game. But what kind of player are you for those that maybe don't know a lot about your game? Um, well, I'm a pretty big guy, you know, I'm, I'm a striker. And I like to score goals a lot from crosses. Uh, I think that a big goal for my development has been learning to hold up the ball for the team and, and let the play develop. And I think that's where I can become very dangerous through hard work and development with the Timbers. Your older brother is a professional player. Is that correct? How does that, that kind of help you? The fact that he has been through what you're going through, how does that help you go through these experiences? It really helps a lot. And all the advice that he gives to me and everything, I, I, it just makes everything so much easier because he's, he's been in every situation that I've been in and he's able to provide me with support. And so it's awesome. Finally, what are you most looking forward to as, as a professional athlete, freedom, right? Like everything that goes into it, what are you most looking forward to and what is now going to be your new life starting uh, as a first team player for the Portland Timbers? I mean, yeah, you said it. I think the freedom is going to be awesome. Uh, I just, just being able to play with these guys and in a serious environment where I'm able to compete and develop is, is more than enough, really. 
Tega, congratulations on signing a homegrown deal with the Portland Timbers. Best of luck getting out here, all the logistics getting settled, finding a place, all of that. Uh, And we look forward to watching you as you begin your professional career. Thank you very much.